So this week we're casting our next production. We chose Titus because I love the play and I always want to see it, but it's never on. People stay away from it because they think it's going to terrify audiences. And it's just a constant cycle of violence and I think it frightens people. There's a lot of blood and gore, there's a lot of betrayal and revenge. Revenge is the big part of it. It, it, it all happens for a reason. There's no moment of violence for violence's sake. It's all in retaliation or as an act of revenge or as an act of desecration or an act of humiliation. A lot of it deals with family mm -hmm. relationships and how people cope with losing loved ones and, and what they do in consequence. It's about the effect war can have on society, civilization and families. It's to see what happens to, the hum to humans after dealing with a tragic event and how they then deal with that and what they do. I think that seems to be a bit of a thematic concern for Cry Havoc because, you know, the first play we ever did was Julius Caesar, which has very similar ideas in it, and then we moved on to Orestes 2.0, which had very similar themes. Um, and then Three Sisters was all about family. So I think, you know, <laughs> it's funny, we're kind of starting to get a resonance between what concerns us as theatre makers, and this play kind of brings it all together. The casting of this show is vital because we need a new level of bravery from the actors that are coming on board. They need a burning desire to tell this story and believe in the relevance of the show. I can honestly say that everyone, the actors who have come in and us, feel that this play is super relevant, especially right now. It holds a place definitely in the theatre world and needs to be seen by people because war continues to happen and this play is about war and revenge and people doing really horrendous, heinous things to each other. I think the idea of lineage is really strong in this play. The idea of your legacy, what you leave behind, what you stand for, what you live for, what you'll die for. I think this play really rewards its audience for staying with it, for coming along on the ride and diving headfirst into the story, to the characters. I mean, it's Shakespeare, it's gods and monsters, you know, the stakes can't be higher. Shakespeare asks theatre makers, actors, directors, designers, everyone to step up to it. You can't bring it down to you and, and say it over a latte. You know, you've got you've to rise to the themes, to the characters, to the situations, to the concerns. And, um, and, and Titus has got to be the biggest of them all when it comes to that.